Hi guys, today we are going to make a delicious low carb truffle. Stick around for the whole video because I actually messed it up halfway through and I want you guys to see the mistake I made so you don't make that same mistake and uh, spend needless time cleaning your waffle maker. The ingredients you'll need for this are cheese, chicken, butter, and eggs. So you're, I just had some Colby Monterey Jack, I think it was called Colby Jack cheese. And so I'm shredding it you only need a little bit toss chicken in there so this is chicken that i made in the instapot it was a chicken breast uh tossed in into the instapot for half an hour and it'll be fully cooked and you can use chicken thigh or whatever you like but the chicken breast into the cheese mixture next you want to crack your eggs in there i would say <clears throat> two to three eggs depending on how you like it now get everything all mixed up and ready to put into the waffle maker so next i'm going to add butter to the waffle maker this is a pro tip because if you don't have enough butter in your waffle maker and if you don't have it like greasy enough um it's just going to be a very hard to get out of the waffle maker once it's cooked so I always add some butter um if you have some other animal fat that you want to use that would be fine butter just makes it a little bit uh yummier i love butter Okay, and now you toss your mixture into the waffle maker. And uh, in a couple minutes, it should be all done. When I see the steam coming out, that's when I know we are almost there and it's almost cooked. And I'm about to check on it now. And it is a total waffle disaster. Okay, so I made this yesterday and it came out perfect, like a perfect waffle. So I'm going to do some adjustments and I'm going to figure out what went wrong. And right now I'm just cleaning the waffle maker so I can do round two. But I figured I'd toss this in there and so it didn't look like perfect. Oh my gosh, you made a perfect waffle when obviously I didn't. Uh, and so I wanted to just, you know, add this in here and I'm going at it again. And I think I know what happened. I think that yesterday I used more chicken and it was less chopped up. It was, it was less chopped up yesterday. And um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken, maybe one more egg, but I'm not gonna add any more cheese and then we'll see how it turns out on round two. Okay, so I'm going to, like I said, add more chicken. Uh, I just wanna make sure it's enough. Yeah, that looks like a lot better, a better amount of chicken. Okay, so you can see that I've almost like filled up the whole bowl or you can see how much chicken I put in there and how much was in there before uh, with the leftover batter from round one. And then I'm adding one more egg. And like I said, I'm not going to add any more cheese. And as you saw or not, I threw the eggshell out the window and it, I hopefully will land in our compost heap. I throw food out the window quite regularly for the compost heap. So mixing up batter round two uh, and let's get this into the newly cleaned waffle maker okay so now it's been a couple minutes since i put in the waffle maker and when you see the steam you it's either almost done or very close to being done and that's more what it should look like when you are done making the waffle and it should be really easy to actually get out of there i think i wanted to just make sure and so i i'm probably cooking it for maybe another minute so i cooked it actually for like maybe one or two more minutes and it should be pretty easy to get out of there. Yeah, exactly like that. It should not be stuck to it. You should be able to get it out. This is what it looks like, number one. And it looks like a waffle. And uh, here is number two. Like I said, it's again, this is exactly like how easy it should come out of the waffle maker. No big mess, even though you have cheese and whatever. And uh, there you go. There you go. I'm, I'm going to cook the last of them now. So to do this right, I've learned uh, through the process of even making this video that you need to have emphasis on a higher amount of chicken, uh, enough eggs, and a, a little bit of cheese for flavor. But if you have a lot of cheese, you're going to not make it and it's just going to be a sticky gooey mess in your waffle maker. But as you can see, it totally looks like a waffle in the end. And um, I think you'll like it. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you like it.